All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some vinegar and some lime, or you can use um, lemon. So here are my chicken breasts. I already like cut like the stuff, the pieces I don't want on it off. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and Once I go ahead and clean my meat with the lime and the vinegar, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting it into small, small pieces. Okay, backstory to why I'm over here doing a cooking video. So somebody told me, since I'm a college student and I do a lot of college stuff, why I don't show college students how to eat good for the low? And I was like, so what you want me to do? They like make a YouTube video. Like we, we need the good gems. So here is the gym. Y'all like it or you don't? Let me know. Do y'all want more of these videos? Please comment down below. Boom. Here are my really small chunks. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some paprika. Dash that on in there. I do not measure. I just put according to eye. Okay. What I like, what I see. That's how I do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some garlic powder. And the same thing. I do not measure. I just put it in there. I just eye it out. I level it. I'll eyeball it. This what it's called eyeball it. Okay, I eyeball it. And then some onion powder. Y'all, I don't know, but for some reason, I gotta have me some onion powder or actual like chopped up onions when I make like meat. It just is so much better. And then we're gonna put this Miss Dash in there, the original blend. They do got several brands blends, but I like the original one a lot better than the other ones. Um, this is called Epi's. Shamika made it. It's a Haitian seasoning spice type of thing. Put my glove on and I'm going to just toss that thing up all together. And yeah, this is what you call a real seasoned chicken. confession i want to be a full-time college student not i repeat not a full-time college student with hello with a job i don't want to be a full-time college student with a job i just want to be a full-time college student amen So I got my chicken on medium heat in the skillet. I'm going to let all sides of the chicken cook for about 3 to 12 minutes per side. Now I am going to put some pasta in boiling hot water. The water already has salt. Okay, that's key to give your pasta some flavor. It takes about 11 minutes for the pasta to fully cook. And once you do that, you want to drain it out and set your pasta to the side. While everything cooking, we're going to preheat the oven for our breadsticks. The box did say put it on 425. So that's what I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to let go ahead and let the oven preheat. My noodles are now done. So I'm going to make my roux for my actual Alfredo. So I'm going to go ahead and take some butter. I do not measure anything. I eyeball everything just because I have made these things a lot of times. So I just know what I like to put in there. Thank you. 
Now you want to take some flour and add that to the butter. This is called roux. This is a thickening agent that helps thin sauces get thick. I don't like no thin sauce. I like my sauce to be thick like me. So now I'm going to add the heavy whipped cream um, to the thickening agent. So I'm really enjoying making this video for y'all and I just feel like with this recession going on out here and uh, not enough money that these jobs are paying that I should do more of these affordable college friendly meals. You can still eat good just at an affordable price. What y'all think? Let me know down below if y'all want me to do more of these because I think I want to do more of these for y'all. Once everything is stirred well, you want to start adding your Parmesan. I'm too lazy to get the actual Parmesan cheese that go in the refrigerator. So I took the, you know, the little shaved granulated one that you just find on the counter in the show that you put on top of the pasta because it works the same. It's all Parmesan cheese. So I went ahead and, and also I want it to be cheap too because this is a college little meal on a budget. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and steer that in. And then I'm going to start adding some flavors. So I'm going to put some salt and then I am going to put some white pepper. Um, I use white pepper instead of black pepper just for, it's really for cosmetics. It's, they taste the same. It's just one is one color for lighter foods and another one is for darker foods. I mean, really is it, it's just so you don't see the black flakes in your food. Really? Um, it's supposed to blend in with the white more. So a lot of people use white pepper for like mashed potatoes and things of that nature. Y'all, it really don't matter. Use what you got, white pepper or black pepper. I'm talking too much about some pepper. Mix it all together, okay? That's what we need to do. Now, once it's good, once it's good and mixed, you want to add your chicken. Your chicken inside the sauce, right? And you want to blend that in there. Mix it very, very well. Because then we're going to grab our pasta. And we're going to also add that. Mind you, the pan is still on. Like the stove is still on. We want this to still be all cooking at the same time. Once you add your pasta, you want to mix it very, very well. Just like this. You want to go ahead and put a top on top of the the pot and you want to let that all cook while that's cooking you want to go ahead and put your bread inside the oven so that when you take your bread outside the oven your food will be done the whole meal and the reason why you want that to still cook is because you want that to marinate and blend all together so yes everything is still cooking on the stove and i like to like mush this little sauce around my bread because i like a heavy coated garlic stick okay Once your bread is done, your food should look a little something like this. It was good to me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If y'all think it's good or not. Deuces.